iPhones are the most popular smartphones in the world. They are loved by the people because of their premium feel, best in class camera system, fast and super responsive iOS system, but as we know, iOS don't provide much customizations. But still there are tricks, hidden features and the life hacks for the iPhones available. So today I'm gonna tell you 7 iPhone secret features that you might don't know ever existed. By the way, if you enjoy our content and want more quality videos like this, so do like, share and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hey guys, my name is Yashdeep and you are watching Techspert, so let's get started. So our first trick is related to the keyboard. So like it happens with you most of the times that you are typing some letters and you wanna type some numbers then. So you type letters and then you go to the numbers area, then again you come to letter screen. Isn't it boring? So you can make it interesting. What you can do is that, while typing any number or any symbol, just slightly long press on this button, then select any numbers you want to type and then just leave and you will see that you automatically came to letters area. Isn't that interesting? So let's move on to our next trick and in this second trick I'm gonna tell you 3 sub tricks to record a video in a secret way so that no one gonna notice. So the first way is that, open your device settings first, then scroll down to the accessibility option, then scroll all the way down and go to accessibility shortcut, but firstly make sure to turn on your guided access, ok? So then go to accessibility shortcut and select voiceover. Then make sure that the volume of your iPhone is turned all the way down so as to make the voice of voiceover turn off. Then just open your camera and make sure to select video option. Then turn on the guided axis by pressing 3 times on power button. And then select voiceover from here. Now the voiceover will be activated and then just click once on the start button and 2 times to confirm. And that's it. Your device will be capturing video now. Now tap 3 times on screen with 3 fingers and you will see that your screen will be turned off. Now your iPhone will be recording the video while the screen will be turned off. Now to turn off this feature, just press 3 times on screen with 3 fingers, tap once on the stop button, press 2 times to confirm and then turn off the guided axis by pressing the power button 3 times. Click once to select and 2 times to confirm and yeah that's it. So the second way is that just swipe down and go to the cover sheet like this and then swipe to the left to the screen but just hold before leaving the screen completely. So yeah, swipe hold and then press up to turn on the video recording. So after turning the video recording on, just swipe from the down and hold. Don't leave and hold on the top. And yeah, you can see that you can record anyone's video secretly if you want to. So the third way is that, open the camera app and click on the recording button. But quickly open the recent tabs too by swiping up on the screen like this. See again, click on the recording, fastly swipe up and yes, you'll see that the recording is still on and you can record anything you want just being on the recent tabs option. Isn't that cool right? So our third trick is related to home screen icons. So I feel like most of you people position the home screen icons by long pressing on them and taking that icon like this to the different place, right? But actually, you can make this interesting too. What actually you can do is that you can long press on any icon and then you can scroll the screen with another finger like this and you can easily position that icon. Also, what in addition you can do? If you want to move more than one icon, then you can just tap on those icons and they will too be selected as well. So this makes this whole positioning process so satisfying and easy, right? So our fourth trick will really surprise you guys because it is related to the increasing speaker sound. So in iPhones, you can literally increase the sound of speakers beyond the normal range. Not believing, right? Okay, so for this, you just have to go to settings, then music, then EQ and here, you just have to select this late night option and that's it. Okay, now let's check. Let's play some music with late night on and off. I don't know if you guys can point out the difference or not, but really it works. Try yourself too and you will definitely see the difference. So most of you guys use this inbuilt music player to listen music and safari video player to see videos, right? But in music player, it just gives you an option for next song or previous song, right? And in video player 2, you just get 15 second forward and 15 second backward. But there's one trick you can do here to fast forward smoothly and that is just hold buttons. I mean, when you are listening any song in music player, just hold these next song option. I mean, when you are listening any song in the music player, just hold these next song option to fast forward in seconds timeline, as you can see now. And yeah, the same for Safari Video Player 2, just hold on these 15 second forward options to fast forward in like 1 or 2 second gap. See, you can see like this. 
and this feature is literally so damn helpful. By the way guys if you are watching video till now and if you enjoy our content so do like, share and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There are many interesting videos like this about to come in future so hit that bell icon to get notified every time we publish a video. So everyone knows what's copy and paste right? You do copy and paste a lot of time but have you ever thought that you can copy and paste in a way that is quite interesting by using three fingers. Just select the text you want to copy and then just pinch in with three fingers and it will copy the text and go to the place where you want to paste that line or the text and there just do pinch out and you will see that it will paste that whole paragraph or line which you want to paste and this is really like a boon to the iOS beginners. Everybody loves taking screenshot right? But today here I'm gonna tell you a trick with that you can do more in less time. So while taking a screenshot as soon as it shows that you took a screenshot just tap and hold on a screenshot and it will show you this share sheet. Here you can quickly share this screenshot as a message or a mail or on Facebook or Insta whichever you want to. There are other options too to go through. So yeah go through like all of these. This will save time and it is very easy and quick to perform. So guys these were some interesting life hacks, tips and tricks related to iOS devices and if you haven't seen my video on hidden secret features for Android devices so just click on these cards and you will be directed there. And don't forget to watch future videos too. If you enjoy our content so do like share and don't forget to hit that bell icon. That was all for today guys catch you guys later in next one.